Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using SILT authentication. Inside this video, we'll discuss about installation of SILT authentication package. If I back to slide. So as we had discussed inside development plans, that inside second phase of API development will include SILT authentication. Also we had discussed that SILT authentication is a composer package by the help of that we can set up into our application. So to complete all about the functionality of user authentication system inside the second phase, we need this package into our system. So how to install that? So to install SILT authentication package, if I back to browser and type this keyword called Core Data for SILT into your search engine, you will see our very first link that is Core Data for forward slash sealed colon authentication and authorization this will be a github repository so i will click on this very first link it will redirect into a github repository scroll down it has provided a lots of documentation and also it has provided a command by the help of that we can install silt authentication into our system so i will copy this command back to slide Open a new tab and as you can see this is a composer command. So let's execute this command. Let's copy back to terminal, close development server of application and here we will paste that command composer require code title for forward slash sealed plus enter. And as you can see that it has given an error that is could not find a version of package. So to solve this error, also we have a well guided documentation here. Click on see the docs. Here we have the docs link. Click on here. And inside this sealed documentation, if I click on installation guide, scroll down. Now this is the command what we executed and this is a error what we are seeing inside terminal so to fix that also it has provided two commands that is by using composer we need to install some dependencies what actually it will update composer.json file so what i will do i will go and copy all these commands back to our slide pasting it here now we can see we have two more composer commands back to documentation so if we go and see that run the following commands to change your minimum stability in your project composer.json so now next step by step we need to execute this command so i will copy this second command back to terminal go and paste press enter executed now again i will go and copy this command back to terminal paste here and press enter so as per the documentation it will update composer.json file if i go here let's open composer.json and if i go here let's scroll down And inside this object, we can see we have now two more lines that is minimum stability and prefer stable. If you see the commands here, composer config minimum stability, composer config prefer stable. So these are the two parameters what we have added inside our composer.json. So once we add these lines, now let's execute again all about our silt authentication package installation command. Let's clear our terminal. So this is the command what we need to execute. Press enter. And this time as we can see that now silt authentication package installation now is started. And successfully we can see that all about the installation of this package called code writer 4 forward slash silt now completed. So successfully, while installation of SILT authentication package, if we get any error, then these two commands needs to execute which updates composer.json file. 
Now next, what we have to do inside this installation, back to documentation, scroll down. So here we have a section called initial setup. And here we need to execute this command, read this line, run the following command. This command handles steps 1 to 5 of manual setup and runs the migration. So this is the command we need to execute all about to actually initiate our initial setup. Let's copy that. First, let's go to slide, pasting it here. So this is php spark sil setup. So this command seems that after installation of this package, it has created a spark command into our list. So let's go and check that. So I will type php spark, press enter. Now inside this command list, here we can see here we have a section called sealed. So once we install a sealed authentication into our system, automatically it created two means our custom commands inside this list. So from these two custom commands, we need to execute our sealed setup first. So what I will do, php spark sealed. So before executing, let's open in help manual. So php spark help. And if I type sealed setup, press enter. So this is a very short documentation of this command called initial setup for core data sealed. So let's go and execute. Let's remove this help here. Press enter. Now as you can see that it has created two files and updated three files. So it has created a file auth.php inside config folder. Let's go and see inside app config and inside config now we should see a new file that is auth.php. So inside auth.php we have lots of code and this is the file automatically generated by this initial setup command. Let's back to terminal. Now here also it has created one more file that is authgroups.php. This file is also inside same folder called config. If I go here and inside config folder, now we should see another file that is authgroups.php. So inside this file we can see we have lots of code but for now we don't worry at all about these two files called auth.php and authgroups.php. So apart from creating new means two new files, also we have few lines of code which seems that it has updated. And here it has updated called basecontroller.php and as we know that base controller is the parent controller of each controller inside a code data for application. So let's see that what it has updated. So if I go inside controllers, base controller, so inside base controller, now we can see it has added a line that is init controller and this is somewhere is actually all about unauthorization access. Let's back to terminal. Now also it has updated routes.php. Go here, we'll find routes.php inside config. If I go here and from these files, here we have routes.php. So inside this file, now we can see at line number 34, it has added a line called service, auth and routes. So automatically, once this line will be added inside this file, it will provide all about the hidden routes. We'll see in a bit. So back to terminal. Now next also it has update called security.php. And also it is asking that php migrate all means spark migrate all. It means behind the scene. Also it has created some migration files. After executing those migration files, it will create some authentication tables. So let's allow to create those migrations inside database table. Press enter. Running all new migrations. And as you can see that it has executed few migrations and these migrations as we can see. If we go here inside this application, database, migrations. So here inside this folder, we don't have any migration. But behind the scene, it has created and migrated and also it has created few tables inside our database. 
So to verify all about our DB tables, let's back to browser, go inside our database, click on structure. And now as you can see that it has created a lot of table inside our database. So here is the table what we are interested in called users. So when we create a table means when we create any user with the detail called username, email, password. So it will use users table and auth identities. We will discuss later on in our coming video. Now back to terminal. So inside this. We can see that it has created two new files and updated three basic files. Now let's see that what actually line added inside routes.php and what we can see. So what I will do, php spark, if I press enter, it will provide our command list. If I go inside code data section, now we can see here we have a command called routes. If we see the single line description displays all routes. Now if we go inside application routes.php, so inside this routes.php, now we can see we have two lines. This is the line by default added when we had installed our setup and this is the line added when we installed our silt authentication package. So let's see that what changes it reflects. Go here. If I type php spark routes, press enter. Now we can see that, let's go and zoom out, one more zoom out and this is I think too small, zoom in. So inside this as you can see, now we have several routes which does not actually really exist inside this routes.php. So automatically this line of code now added several different different routes for our application like register, login login magic link, login and many more. So as we are learning all about API development using Silt authentication, so we are not going to use all these routes but we will do our own routes by the help of that will create our user authentication APIs by the help of this package. So successfully, now inside this video, we have done all about the installation of Silt package fixed all about the issues, what we got during installation and also we had done the initial setup. So successfully, by the help of this video, now we have the complete idea that how to install CodeGrinder for Silt authentication package inside a CodeGrinder for application. So in the next video, we'll see some more development concepts. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.